this good Kim and Kennels right now. I'm about to hit these dogs off. He think he eating, but he not. <laughs> oh. We hitting them off. Mm-hmm. What is that, boy? What? Some dragon blood sage because you know they get nightmares too. Come over here. We go. Yeah, and you see, she must have discovered that this is better inside because she's not pushing it out no more. <laughs> so you throw some sage around now. A quick save and then tomorrow morning we're gonna clean up this hay restock it with this we do that every 30 days because sometimes they do squirt in there a little bit they don't poop in there but especially the boy they'll tingle in there a little bit <laughs> oh, nothing like a grown man saying the word tinkle huh? <laughs> Make sure that I start an amber. Mm -hmm. Night night. So we light this around. And it purifies the air. Yep. What is that? You gotta pull this up again? Dragon blood sage. Yeah. It's not your regular sage, it's dragon blood. This is protecting against uh evil spirits and bad energy right here. I mean, all sage does bad energy, but this is for nightmares, evil spirits, protection. So I said the dogs can get nightmares too. And they're a spiritual protector, so. And don't be concerned about the smoke. Like we said, it's a natural disinfectant and it does clear the air and actually it makes it easier to breathe. Humans, dogs, everything. And we're in the garage. So the bottom of our garage is cracked. So this is going to go right out. You can actually... Mm -hmm. You can inhale this. It improves your breathing as well. And this is going to help them sleep good mm -hmm. and actually feel like we're hugging them. <laughs> we might do a video when we come back in here in 30 minutes. You might see them on their butt backs. Like that. <laughs> Relaxed. And we do this through the whole house. We do it in the kids' room. Mm -hmm. Right now, I know, like everybody battling sicknesses. We had to sage the house. <laughs> Facts. And this is enough right here, so. Yep. We'll shut that. Night night. Night set. We'll see you in the morning. And yeah, so. Any questions of why we got the hay out here like that? A straw. Yeah, straw. Because we just got tired of them pushing it out. And keep cleaning it day by day. So now we just throw it around the whole garage. This is their area right here mm -hmm. in our little store. So this keeps the scent out. It keeps the dog smell out. It keeps them in a positive mental environment. Their mental health is very important. Got a stressed, nervous dog, um, agitated or looking around all the time. Don't know what you're going to do, especially the little dogs. These are good for the little dog. Mm -hmm. You leave your dog home. Go to work eight hours, light some sage, and your dog will feel like you hug him. So the kids are asleep. So we ain't gonna pull in there, so. The smoke will die. Come on. Yeah, boy. <laughs> and what he's doing right now is. Just kind of putting the smoke around to kind of create like an outline of their body. Yep. <laughs> 
It helps with sleeping. It helps purify the air. It helps rid sicknesses, germs. Just all around a must have. Make sure you get a deep dish for the sage. You can get all this on Instagram, nineiacult.com. And uh, we can hook you up with some of this. Well, at Nine Eye Occult Shop. Yeah, Nine Eye Occult Shop on, on Instagram. Instagram. Yep. And, and um, just, oh, wait, oh it's come dark. On up, and like I said, this helps the kids. They go to school, dealing with stuff they're not telling you. Somebody might be bullying them. Somebody might die under their skin. Go over there and outline their body with the sage. You know what I'm telling you? We're going to do it before and after. Yeah. We're going to ask the kids tomorrow, did you sleep better? Yeah. We'll get it on camera. <laughs> and the thing we like about the sage is it's not no um, lighted. Oh, I don't see the results. What's happening, man? Is, is, is it working? As soon as you light that sage, you want to say, oh, that should work. Because I have, you know, lung problems, a lung problem, one lung, and um, battle scar, and you know, it helps. So we definitely recommend not just doing your house, but doing a dog area. Mm -hmm. Your dogs are your spiritual advisors. Mm -hmm. You know, if somebody got bad energy, your dog just won't accept them in the house, check into that. If somebody's coming up on you, they say they're your friend. Your dog is barking or acting antsy where you got to put the dog up. Yeah, your dog's telling you, that person's energy ain't right. You know, same vice versa. If you got a dog that goes up to your friend, jumps on them, lick them like a family member that lives in the house, nine times out of ten, that, that, that family member or friend has good intentions with you. So, you know, whatever we do with the dogs, we do it ourselves. We eat sardines, we get a dog sardines. We eat tuna fish, we give the dogs tuna fish, minus the mayo. We, we, we stay hydrated, we make sure the dogs stay hydrated. We use melanin to breathe better, we sprinkle some melanin in their water. We use lemon water to help them breathe, help us breathe better, sprinkle a little bit of lemon juice in their water from the lemon or the lawn, help them breathe better. Breathe better. We do a food detox where we don't eat until one o'clock, the dogs don't eat until one o'clock. We stop eating after eight, the dogs don't eat after eight. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's a good thing to live by. You know, you got old farmers that, uh, you know, don't feed their dogs grease or nothing like that. They feed them, you know, real food that they eat on that farm. Dogs be living 16, 17. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, man, how long that you feed that dog vegetables and, you know, chicken? That damn dog old as shit. And you're like, what the fuck is that dog living so long? It's because they're eating a healthy diet. You know, sometimes when you get that genetic foreign food, it's not good. It has a lot of grain in it. it. has a lot of crude or shit that you don't even know about. So sometimes it's good to come up with a holistic meal for your dog. You've seen us. We feed our dogs liver, um, chicken liver, fresh chicken liver. Not no Purdue or nothing like that. We actually go to a farm. Mm -hmm. And we get chicken liver. We also have chickens and rabbits. We feed our dogs that. We feed our dogs 100% natural stuff. Why? Because we don't got time to keep going to the vet. Only time we go to the vet is for uh, flea control. Yeah. <laughs> to get, give them a tablet. And we barely want to do that. You know, but if we're living in the area next to some water, um, trees that attract bugs, you're going to have to double down on that. And the update on the rabies, and that's it. Oh, yeah, and the rabies. And, you know... Um, that's the only shot we get our dogs either. Yeah, parvo shot, you know, it's kind of strong on them. Maybe. We do give it to them, but you, you don't have to do that. Yeah. We recommend you do not let your dog smell poop. Mm -hmm. I don't care if it's your dog's poop from yesterday. If the dog smells poop, you kind of want to... Hey! Raise your voice like it was a big deal. Mm -hmm. like, Make no, a big deal. Yeah, yeah, don't be like, oh, no, buddy. Don't do that. <laughs> no, you want to say, no, no. Like, it was crazy. Like, all right, that's Especially damn. if you have a big beast like us. Yeah, your dog, like, oh, shit, damn. He raised his voice. She raised her voice. You know, so they know, don't sniff no poop. Don't drink no rainwater. Water on the floor, on the ground, don't drink it. <laughs> so if you see your dog 
trying to drink some rainwater, that means your dog is thirsty. So what you do is you reward your dog. Get some ice cubes, throw it in the water as soon as they get back in. Show them, you don't gotta do that. I got you as soon as we get back in. And if you see your dog look thirsty but not do it, say good boy to him. We're gonna give you some more tips, drop some more information this week. Uh, we're not at the big backyard. So right now, yeah, we're, you know, they're in the house the, more. In the house, in the garage. We're doing park a lot, uh, fetch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Whatever is lot. necessary. Yeah, in this area, we have a lot of uh, wealthy people around here. And, uh, you know, they automatically get scared for the rot. So mm -hmm. we got to do after hour stuff. Mm -hmm. Got to do early, early in the morning. You know, people. And um, secondly, um, our long training leash um, set yanked off of that shit and it snapped. It had a knot in it. I was being lazy. And then the knot eventually snapped. I retied it back. Um, but next time, you know, we're just going to get the leather one. Mm -hmm. So we got work. We need that. good, sturdy stuff to hold them. You know, I'm um, trying to say we don't went through five different leashes. Yeah. Chain leash. Honestly. Leash. And we're still looking for one that's sturdy enough to, to control them. And not hurt your hand. Yeah. Maybe we can create one. So if anybody's watching, you're a, a you know, what are they called? A warehouse person. Yep. <laughs> if we could create one, that'd be great. Um, what's tomorrow? Friday. We doing um. A, a dry baking soda bath tomorrow. Oh yeah, that's great. We doing a dry baking soda br uh, bath with a brush outside. We gonna flop a whole bunch of baking soda on there, on their skin. Then we are gonna um brush it off. You know what I mean? After that, we're going to put some Neosporin or Vaseline around their eyes mm -hmm. so their eyes don't start getting droopy. We're going to put that around their eyes, around their butt area so that don't get raw. But their paw pads. And their paw pads, yeah. you know? Um, oh, also, this sage right there um, is very good for the little dogs. The little dogs are very prone to allergies. So yeah. allergies, it clears it up. Use it for your little dogs for sure. Yeah. So, you know, we don't recommend nothing that we not using. Yeah. Um, now, we give her, also, we got a hat. Give you a quick hat. Like, since we give Please excuse our messy house right now. We'll give you all your information. We just cooked. <laughs> yeah. Just got the kids in bed. These are hers up here. Oh, uh, yeah. So, about two of these pumpkin seeds in their food, you know, every other day. All right, hold on, slow it down because it's not. Let them see what it looks like. You know, about. Show them what you do. A couple of these pumpkin seeds. There day. we go. And those are unshelled. Yeah. Dried. Yeah. Yeah. Organic. We do, we do have the shell ones. We have the shell ones too, but they're they're a pain to peel. And our kids work so fast, we don't have more. Yeah. So <laughs> these are still shelled because the kids didn't. I guess they. Gave up. Let um, me just get a good look at that. So get, when we say we're naturalist, <laughs> yeah. that's what we mean. So you throw some of these pumpkin seeds in their food, and this will help uh, fight off inside worms without keep deworming them, because that shit hurts their um, intestines. Yeah, all well, that medicine. That them pumpkin seeds are natural dewormers. That's a great tip. Natural Write that down, guys. Natural dewormers. Um, stop giving your dog them white eggshells. You know what I mean? If you want to get the protein out of the egg, crack the egg open, mix it in with the food. Yeah. But if you want the bulk of the protein, use the boiled water. Mm. Let the boiled water get cool and let them drink it or pour some on that food. Wow. Um. Also, you know, for your fish oil, I see a lot of people giving their dog fish oil. You can replace the fish oil because the fish oil is like, like $40. And you can use this right here. Sardines. Love it. They love it. This love is your natural it. fish oil right here. There we go. And, and that's look. probably even cheaper. Way cheaper. It's a dollar. <laughs> well, down here it's a dollar. We yeah. live in Delaware. And um, a lot of these. Tuna. So they get fed heavy in the winter because they're storing fat. But in the summertime, we don't want them... <sighs> breathing all hard and shit so yeah. we give them we give them more tuna in the summer we give them more lighter products in the summer grain-free products stuff they ain't gonna have a pan uh if you like this video 
hit subscribe. And um, if you want us to drop a video on some of our other foods that we have. Yeah. Hey, and always comment. Ask us. We're, we're definitely willing to do a video on any topics that you guys are interested in. Um, we love it. So. Yep. So like. Like, subscribe. <laughs> I get some of these tomorrow. Oh, God, the dogs love these. These, And you've seen us do videos of... These are uh, livers. Yep, us giving the livers fresh. And they're fresh straight from the farm. We get them at a really good price. Yeah, that's the best thing you can give your dog. Yeah. Is the chicken liver. That's where all the protein and minerals are at in the liver. So, yeah, a and good... You can eat it. Yeah, good quick snack. So, if you can, try to avoid those pre-packaged, you know, plastic-wrapped bones, snacks, all that. All the major brands that are out in the stores right now with those snacks. Avoid it, man. That's that's a lot of the reasons why these dogs are getting sick and why you're seeing a lot more vet visits. And remember, vets, you know, they got to stay in business. So, yeah, how do so, you think they do that? So, they're going to sell you, tell you to come back. Tell you, oh, yeah, this is a bigger problem than we thought. Yeah. They got to make their you know, money. They got to make their money. And we are their number one client. So get at us. All right. <laughs> Check us out. Hope to Bye, see hubby. some puppies soon. Yes. Oh, yeah. We just, if you see, we just uploaded the video of them, you know, her being relaxed and um, allowing him to sniff. That's a huge sign. Yeah. And like we said, she, she opened it up. For we're her. not forcing them. Nah. So we're letting them go ahead and decide when they're ready to, to get down to business. And, and we're just ready and waiting and happy grandparents. She's, yeah, she's looking ready. <laughs> she's looking ready right now. So stick along, you know, stay tuned. Um, reach out if you have any questions. And we'll talk to you soon. Yep. Drop a like. Bye.